This highly humanized robot has been designed to pass for a human so that she can infiltrate and assassinate the CEO of a rival robotics company. But her creators have not accounted for what will happen when she experiences true love. Far into the future, in the year 2074, the Japanese and Americans are in a corporate war. The Japanese company, Okobayashio, and the American company, Open Wheel Robotics O Buttheads, determine to take over the world with their superior robots. Cyborgs have now become the go-to option for everything, whether it owes a soldier or a prostitute. More and more cyborgs are created every day, with beautiful figures and perfect looks. The board of directors for Pinwheels Robotics watch the screen as two cyborgs indulge in passionate hanky-panky. On the edge of their seats, they watch as the cyborgs intensely make love, enjoying the scene for themselves. The woman as moans echo throughout the room as the technician fixes any loops in her display of pleasure. With a countdown beginning, the men wait in anticipation as the cyborgs continue on. At the end of the countdown, the woman's cyborg, called Drina, suddenly explodes. Bits of the cyborg's internal goo covers the glass. As the workers clean up the observation room, the CEO explains that the cyborg had been filled with a liquid explosive known as O-Glass Shadow O. The glass shadow is directly linked to a microbeam detonator, which the Kobayashi company has not been able to accomplish yet. The CEO informs the group that Drina was injected with only 20 milligrams of glass shadow, the finalized Osaka cyborg known as Casella Okasho. Reese will be injected with 100,000 milligrams. Questioning the purpose of the cyborg exploding during intimacy, the team seems doubtful. They are assured by the CEO that it is only one example of the vast possibilities of the glass shadow. Cash has been given multiple human qualities, including mimicking emotions such as fear, hate, love, and pain. Pinwheels Robotics aims to monopolize the biotech world by sending Cash over to a Kobayashi event as a suicide bomber so she can kill their board of directors, leading to the company O's collapse. Next, Cash practices combat with her trainer, Colton Oculto Ricks. Cash easily defeats Colton in combat. Her programming tells her to O-kill the human O, but she realizes that this is her trainer. With a few epic moves, Cash is able to overpower Colt and pin him to the ground. A bunch of cyborgs surround the two, as this was a class they are taking. After the class is dismissed, Cash asks Colt where Drina is, as she was Cash O's roommate. Colt refuses to reveal anything, leaving Cash suspicious and frustrated. Later, Colt finds the CEO of Pinwheels Robotics, leading Cash somewhere. Questioning why she needs to be taken away, Colt tries to argue with the CEO but is told to mind his business. Cash is taken to an operating room, where she is told she will be semi-operative for a few hours, as they have to perform maintenance on her. Cash loses consciousness, and after the operation is placed to rest in her room. A broadcast on the television interrupts the pinwheel feed. The unknown voice tells her that many cyborgs have tried and failed to go where they planned to. Only one has survived, and her savior was a human fighting alongside her. Even in her sleep-like state, Cash listens carefully to the broadcast, wishing she had a savior too. Cash meets Colt, and he asks her if she was hurt, and she replies that she probably was. A passerby tells them they cannot be talking to each other, since there is a company rule against fraternizing with cyborgs. Cash hands Colt a small matchbox and leaves him standing on the stairs. As Colt walks along the corridor, he hears a strange voice from one of the rooms. It is the same voice that spoke to Cash after her operation. Colt asks the figure in the TV who he is, but doesn't get an answer. Instead, the figure tells him that he keeps a low profile, but will be seeing him around. Back in his room, Colt finds a moth in the matchbox, alongside a small note saying, Olab 9. 1700 hours. Oh, confused, he speaks to the machine in his room, asking the penalty for sexual contact with a cyborg. In a hostile tone, the machine informs him that the penalty is immediate imprisonment of solitary confinement until death, alongside a fine. Knowing that he could be in danger, he asks the machine to remove the conversation from its system. Later, while Colt sleeps, the mysterious man in the TV speaks to him again. Colt wakes up in terror, only to realize it owes the same man. 
The man tells him he has to be at Lab 9, at 1,700 HRs, and he will miss it if he keeps sleeping. Colt asks the figure one more time, who he is. However, the figure simply calls himself, oh, a bad idea on the Luso. Heading through a dimly lit corridor, Colt reaches the lab. Walking through the multiple displays, he finds a tank full of water. Using a lighter, he tries to see inside, and the hand suddenly starts moving, terrifying him. Cash giggles behind Colt and takes him to see roses growing nearby. Colt admires Cash as she wonders if the flowers are real. He tries to kiss her because he really knows how to pick his moments, but she leads him to a chimpanzee. Cash turns on the monitor to show that the chimpanzee is a cyborg and can film them. The mysterious figure appears on the screen and Cash lets Colt know that he talks to her every night. Cash and Colt hear a sudden noise and the figure sarcastically claims, Oh, the plot thickens, oh. He promises to look out for them and encourages them to check it out. Entering a nearby vault, the two explore the room. Cash sees Drina, damaged and broken nearby. She suddenly grabs Casho's arm and warns her that she is next. The mysterious figure appears on the screen above them. He tells them that Cash has been injected with glass shadow, the liquid explosive. He reveals the reason for Casho's existence. She was created to be used as a weapon of explosion during the next corporate meeting at the Kobayashi Robotics plant. She would be going undercover as an American investor and would detonate at a pre-programmed time. To further explain, the figure reveals that this action would help the stock value of Kobayashi Robotics decline, forcing them to give their company to Pinwheels Robotics. The figure ends up warning Cash that they are looking for her, and they already suspect Kolto's hand in her disappearing. He advises them to run and escape the facility before they get caught. The two begin escaping, with hordes of soldiers preparing to chase them down. Colt takes Cash to a freight elevator on level 6, but as they run down a flight of stairs, they are shot at by a couple of soldiers. Colt tries to protect Cash by shielding her, but Cash has other plans and fights off the soldiers with her combat skills. A soldier approaches Colt from behind, and he manages to fight him off with ease. Cash throws a gun at an approaching soldier, causing him to accidentally shoot at the soldiers behind him. The two manage to reach the elevator. Once inside, the two face a new problem, as the elevator refuses to move. Cash kicks down the top of the elevator, only to discover soldiers shooting at them from above. Colt gets shot in the ear and asks Cash to run a diagnostic of an escape route. She finds a hatch at the bottom of the elevator, and Colt rips up the boards, only to find a 2640 feet drop below. Cash climbs down first, with Colt following, and the two escape through a narrow hole in the wall. As the soldiers try to follow them, they are shot by a mysterious woman, standing below. Cash and Colt manage to escape through a garbage container that launches them outside the building. They find a nearby TV which they use to contact the mysterious figure. Cash suddenly starts convulsing, and the figure tells them that the technicians wired a recall code to Casho's tracking system. The detonator is meant to activate when she leaves the plant. The figure tries to calm Cash, saying that the recall voices will stop in a while. They learn that she has nine hours before she detonates. Overwhelmed with anxiety, Colt hugs Cash, attempting to calm her down. The figure suggests leaving the area on wheels and gives the two an address to go to. He tells them to go to the location to find Owild Cardo. If they miss him, they can head to the museum, and he will find them. In one last attempt, Colt asks who the figure is, and the figure reveals himself to be named Mercy. The CEO, Martin Dunn, meets the mysterious woman, Chen, from before, and asks her to find Colt and Cash. He asks her to kill Colt, as he is the reason for this mess. Martin speaks to the board of directors, telling them that using Pinwheelo's security to pursue the escapees is out of the question. He suggests sending Daniel Bench, a borderline psychotic man, with an experience in hunting cyborgs. Bench is in the bathroom with a beautiful lady who is taking a bath with her melons on display. He receives a call from Dunn, who explains the whole situation and promises to reward him heavily if he manages to capture the escapees. As they discuss the plan, Bench begins fondling the beautiful woman in his bathtub. He owes definitely got his priorities right. Cash and Colt arrive at the location, and Cash is determined to go alone. 
She asks Colt to meet her at the museum if she owes not back in 30 minutes. The two share a tender kiss before she goes inside, and Colt parks in a nearby alleyway. Once inside the strip club, Cash asks for Wildcard and is led through a bunch of strippers. In the back, she owes asks to wait. Meanwhile, Bench arrives at the club, hoping to catch them. Mercy warns Colt that a professional killer may be after them. Bored of waiting, Cash begins exploring the place and comes across a Chinese fortune teller. The teller senses a strong energy coming from Cash and tries to bribe her into becoming a stripper. Furious at her suggestion, Cash breaks her hand. Another teller tries to attack Cash with a chain, but is beaten up. Cash ends up escaping the place. Outside, Bench asks Colt for a light and then points his gun at him. After taking Colt as hostage, he brings him to the club. When the barman questions them, Bench ends up shooting him. Bench takes Colt outside right as Cash begins looking for him. Cash is suddenly captured by Chen, who ties a noose around her neck. Chen attempts to kill Cash, but fails as Cash grabs onto a nearby railing. With one swift pull, Chen causes Cash to crash into a nearby window. Meanwhile, Bench leads Colt to a building where he forces him to handcuff himself to a rod. In conversation, he demands to know where Cash is, but Colt insists he doesn't know. Bench shoots Colt in the eye with a sleeping dart, causing him to fall unconscious. Chen captures Cash and attempts to assess the damage, glad to find none, as Cash is too valuable. She disables the detonator but threatens to turn it on again if Cash doesn't tell her where Colt is. Colt manages to free himself while Bench is asleep, but as it turns out, Bench was awake all along, and the dart he shot in Colto's eye was a device that tapped his vision. After leaving their respective captors, Colt and Cash reunite inside the museum. Chen is a cyborg herself. She manages to shatter a glass tank on Bencho's face, further ruining his already disfigured face. Chen manages to catch up to Cash and Colt, and a battle between Chen and Cash ensues. When Cash is knocked down, Colt tries to fight Chen. Chen easily overpowers him. Enraged at Cheno's seduction toward Colt, Cash manages to knock her back onto a fuse box. Chen is electrocuted and dies. Next, Cash and Colt find a cyborg dog nearby. Following the dog, they are led to a tunnel. They drop down and walk to another opening. Knocking on the hatch, they were greeted by a man who asks if they have a reservation. Cash mentions Mercy sent them, and they are allowed to come up. They find themselves on a construction site with a boat nearby that the dog leads them to. Entering the ship, they find a room with Mercy on the screen. They are told of a ship leaving tonight that they must be on in order to be free. Colt is against it, as getting on the boat requires them to participate in a fighting tournament, where only one survives. Mercy insists they don't have another option. Later, Wildcard injects Colt with a sleeping agent to take out the device from his eye. Mercy manages to convince Cash to go on the boat and live her life out with Colt. He says that even though she will outlive him, it will be worth it, because he will live on in her memory. Cash asks Wildcard for Mercy all's story. He tells her that Mercy was a soldier until he was seriously injured in a war. He was rebuilt as a cyborg human in order to keep him alive. He reveals that Mercy had a wife, Velma, who was a cyborg, but she had been killed by Bench himself. Mercy advises Colt to take the chance to propose to Cash before the fight. Cash and Colt spend a passionate night together, really burning those calories. The real form of Mercy looks at a picture of Velma, longing for his wife. After their intimate escapades, Mercy tells them it owes time to go. Visiting the area, they ask for Bobby Lynn, the fight promoter. A match is set up for Colt, and the opponent turns out to be Bench. Initially, Colt is surprised, and the two begin an intense fighting match, while the crowd cheers them on. The two cause some serious damage to each other. In the end, Colt emerges victorious as he puts Bencho's head into a boat propeller, killing him instantly. Pinwheel soldiers show up, and Cash and Colt make a run for it. At one point, they are surrounded by the soldiers from every direction, but Mercy activates nearby bombs, creating a distraction which helps them escape. Finally, Mercy shows up, in the flesh, and shoots grenades at the soldiers. Afterwards, Mercy is captured and brought to meet Dunn. He blames him for ruining his life, as he is the one who hired Bench to kill Velma. Dunn defends his actions as trying to better humanity. 
As Dunn makes his final play of detonating Chen to stop Cash and Colt, Mercy detonates himself, killing himself, Dunn and destroying the pinwheel's headquarters. Cash and Colt take the boat and arrive at an island where they build a life for themselves. Many years later, Colt continues to age, while Cash remains as young and beautiful as ever. Embracing Colt in his old age, Cash realizes that their time is up, and the two enjoy their final moments together. The End Thank you for watching. Be sure to like our channel and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. Also, let us know what movie you would love us to recap for you.